Johnny Murray here and welcome back to Excite Night. Tonight's Spotlight, we're going to be focusing on Splatoon 3, undoubtedly one of the biggest titles releasing on the Nintendo Switch this year, and honestly, as of a while. Now, Splatoon 3 was announced back in the beginning of 2021, I do believe, in their February Direct. It was the first Direct that they've had in a long time, everybody was expecting some huge stuff, and they did announce Splatoon 3, which definitely is huge. Now, I am a huge Splatoon fan. I think it's one of their best franchises, especially when you're talking about newer franchises, because in my opinion, it is their newest franchise that actually took off. Um, and it's a, ju just a really great game. It's Nintendo's best multi multiplayer franchise, that's for sure, hands down. And uh, I I'm just really excited for this one, uh, because being a big fan of the series, I just can't wait to see what more that they do with it. Uh, but this week, Excite Night is going to be a little bit different. And let me tell you why. We're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to have an Xbox game. We're going to have a Nintendo Switch game. Obviously, Splatoon. We're going to have a, pl a PlayStation game. We're going to have a multi-platform game. But we're not just going to keep keep on doing it every week. And that, that, that that's what I'm saying. This, this series is going to be special. We're going to switch it up. We're going to do some fun things. And this week is no different. This week, we're actually going to do our first little special edition week, uh, if that's what you want to call it. And um, I brought with me a guest. And he is going to be a guest uh, for this week's, like, all, all of this week's Excite Night Spotlights. And um, his name, you should know him, is Nully. How you doing, Nully? I'm doing great. So, let me tell you the re reason I brought him along. I thought it'd be really cool. Nully likes games. That is obvious. Nully likes games. Um, his favorite being, you know, Ra Rainbow Six Siege. Um <laughs> a lot of pe people just lost interest. Um, <laughs> um, but I thought it'd be interesting because he's not like all that into like upcoming games and um, big tr like games like Sp like Splatoon, for instance. And I'm sure he probably knows nothing about the upcoming Splatoon. Uh, and I thought it'd be fun to get somebody's reaction to the games that do doesn't already have an opinion on the games. So they're basically going to get a, you're going to get their raw reaction and what they actually think about, about the game based off of the trailers and what, what we talk about. Um, so let me ask you, Nolly, do you know anything about Splatoon 3? I haven't touched a Splatoon game since the original Splatoon came out. So I don't That's know all we needed to hear. So let's get ready for... This, this, or tonight's Excite Night Spotlight. Of course, we start every time, guys, with the announcement trailer. Like we said, it was announced back in February of 2021 in their big Nintendo Direct r return. How do you feel so far? You know? <laughs> dramatic opening for these guys. It is. They're, they're good work. Right off the bat, you you can see some of the character customizations that we got going on. I love the weapon. The weapon's really cool. You can even customize your your little pet, dude. That that's actually honestly. That that's kind of goaded. Upside down. Eiffel Tower, right there. Give us a rundown on what you you think right now. No, like. So far, it looks like a Splatoon game. I mean, True. the graphics look pretty good for a person Nintendo game. Yep. I'm interested to see how this artwork goes so the the big interesting thing with this game and this first trailer was splatoon has had a story there there's been like campaign main missions and all that but it's been ma mainly multiplayer based that's what they put most of their time into and with this new installment it looks like they're gonna be focusing more on the story so uh that that was what was so interesting about this first trailer oh yeah look at that you can hear the music start getting up Nintendo music always slaps. Let's be real. Can't, can't deny that. Yeah. Boom! There it is. 
and there is the color scheme. I'm gonna stop right there. You may be wondering why why you came about the color scheme. Well, Splatoon one was blue and orange. Anybody who knows anything about colors knows blue and orange are complementary colors. Then the next one was red and green. Those are complementary colors. And now we got purple and yellow. Guess what? Purple and yellow are complementary colors. <laughs> Just you know, thought I'd enlighten everybody. Oh yeah. Now you get some of the cool action, the the, the stuff that you're used to seeing with Splatoon. And there we are. Back into the ink. 2022. And again, this is... Like, the third game in a row, which is crazy. Because a lot of the games that we do on Excite Night, th with the announcement trailer, usually they announce a date, and that never actually happens. Right? Like, it either got delayed, or they just were wrong. Right? Well, for three games in a row, the announcement trailer announced a date that has actually been true. Um, as of right now. So, um, first trailer in... What do, what do you think? We're 30 days from the game, basically. So yeah, we are. We are. September 9th. Yep. Uh, so far, I think, I mean, it just looks like a Splatoon game to me. It's definitely, like, compared to the first game, it looks different, of course. It's got a new color scheme. It sounds like it's going <laughs> to yep. be different. See, don't know a whole lot about Splatoon 2. I didn't really play that. So, yeah. but of course, if, if, you really, if you really like Splatoon games, I think this is going to be another favorite game for those players. Yeah, real. Real. I mean, I can't. Yeah, I can't argue with there. Uh, I mean, that's the way I feel. Um, I I like Splatoon one and two a lot, and so I I just hope three takes it to another level, like sequels are supposed to do. Um, so yeah. But I am really curious how they're gonna make the the story more focused. Um, because I obviously I already said how the game Splatoon's ne never really been story based, but this one looks like they're focusing more on story, which is re really neat. Um. Uh, speaking of the story, we did kind of get, like, a title for what, like, the campaign is, and also, th this was the very next trailer that we saw of the game. The game kind of went dark for a while, until sep September of that year, so, like, six months, six, seven months, uh, went by, uh, without us seeing the game, and, uh, then we finally got this trailer, and, I and I'd say, this trailer got everybody way more hyped than the first one. The, y you just see a lot, lot more stuff in this one, so I'm curious on how you'll, on what you'll think of the game. I know, right? Soundtrack be going crazy. Got like this little robot thing. Got, like a force field. Ooh. Got like a grappling hook and stuff. Uh oh. Look at this environment, dude. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of a trip fest. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Jeez. Beautiful. And 
And there you have it. Oh. <laughs> Return of the Mamelins. That's basically what the uh, story is call being called uh, for whatnot. So, there it was. How do you feel now? I mean, coming from someone who doesn't know too much about the storyline, I feel like it's going to give players a little bit more than just, you know, playing online with other people. Getting to, getting a story mode for a game like this is going to be really big on people who really like story-driven games with, you know... I, I don't really have too much of a comment. It just looks like a really nice game coming to Nintendo this year. And hopefully we can get a playthrough, some gameplay. I think it's going to... Uh, I'm awesome. curious because... Splatoon is kind of just stuck to that, like, arena-type style, city-based thing. But now we're getting things like this, right? We're, yeah. we're getting things, um, let me try and find it. Like, like this. Or, like, what the heck is going on here? Like, a lot of really weird uh, environments and, like, atmospheres. Like, the this part where she's, um, right here. Like, what the heck is going on here? So... There's definitely a lot of it interesting. What do you think of like the environments and stuff? It looks completely different. I don't. i like. It's kind of weird seeing stuff like this in Splatoon itself. <laughs> yeah. Definitely opening up the world, but it I is. Think it looks cool. Um, I'm very curious if like we're gonna be able to like play like multi. If there'll be like multiplayer maps based in these areas, because that'd be really cool playing in like a PvP game with an area like this. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Alright, the next one is the most recent release date uh, trailer. Uh, this will be, like, technically the last trailer we're going to react to for this game. So let's see if it changes your opinion, opinion anymore. So I think this is where we actually got gameplay as well. Which is very crucial for selling a game. Yep, here we go. I think the paint looks really good for some reason. Like, I don't know, the paint just looks so... Like, inky. <laughs> as someone who doesn't really play Splatoon anymore, I, I, like, I played it more as like a time passer. Yeah. I don't care for the... I like the idea. It's kid-friendly, of course. It's a shooter that's friendly for kids. Fun for the family. Oh, got like two kills just then. This is where menaces are born. <laughs> this is where all, all the 11 year olds go, oh yeah, I got this. Wow. The paint looks really nice, I'm not gonna lie. I know, right? The paint looks really good. Got so many di different weapons and stuff, man. It's crazy. I mean, it's very fast paced, and I'm sure there, there's probably a lot of skill involved, I'll be honest. Um, I'm just curious, like, what abilities are looking like and loadouts and a lot of that, that cool stuff. What kind of customization can you add to your playstyle, you know? Now, for a game like this, for me, I'm looking at the HUD, the UIs, the mm -hmm. gameplay, the controls. Yeah. Definitely, you know, because I'm not going to throw an opinion on a game I don't really play, but I can definitely, you know, go to the graphics side and really take a look at how well these, these smaller, you know, devices handle these graphics. And so far, from what we're looking at, it looks really nice. Have a and I, I, with the time I think you you said it perfectly. It, it, it's a good time waster of just, really mind, just mind, time mindless time. fun, to be honest. I mean, it, it probably does have some of that competitiveness to it, but doesn't take itself too too seriously, um, which now I think is a good thing. We're watching a bunch of devs play, and we all know oh, how yeah. devs play their games. They're all kind of... Uh, they're just trying cool, to showcase cool. everything, yeah. Showcase, not really too great at the game, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're Nintendo. A little really call out there. A, a yeah, little call like, out there. It's, it's, it's not, it's no better than the COD devs. They, they don't know how to play their own. I really, I have to say, I really like all the, the different weapons we're seeing. Like, we're seeing melee, we're seeing long range, we're seeing explosive, we're seeing, you know, just classic. Um, very interesting. Imagine a Splatoon game on Wii. That would have been crazy. That would have been... Act, that actually would have been crazy. I don't even know how they would do it. Would you just have, like, the Wii remote is a paint gun? 
you'd probably would it be a Wii U game where like you actually had a whole controller and not just the Wii remote? Splatoon was a Wii U game. Ah, uh, it was a Wii U game. You're talking yeah. about like just the Wii. Yeah, like what if it was uh, a motion control game? You know. And there it is. Not bad, not bad. Definitely. Okay, I like that little edge oh, there. And then, boom! Available 9-9-22. So, so, what was interesting with this is they actually released a trailer before this one that had, an, uh, that had a release date, and it was summer of 2022. Right? It said summer 2022. Well... What happened was a couple days before this trailer, they announced Xenoblade would be coming out uh, two months earlier than what it was originally planned. Which is like, you, you hardly hear that anymore. A game coming out sooner than expected. Um, and so everyone was like, why do they do this? And everyone thought that maybe Splatoon and Xenoblade switched release dates. And that's exactly what happened. Because Splatoon was originally re uh, announced for summer. Then got, then got announced for September. Xenoblade was announced for September, released in summer. That's exactly what happened. So, Splatoon 3 now coming out September 9th, 2022. Exactly a, a month from today. Yeah, you actually said that um, at the beginning. Now, we're, we're going to do one more trailer, even though it's not really a trailer. I just think it's something interesting, especially to, to show you how like important and big this game is for Nintendo. They are releasing a special edition OLED console, which I gotta be honest, looks fire, dude. It looks sick. Now, I find consoles that have been branded with some of these like, games. Like, look at that. Oh, you're making, the color dude, scheme looks nice. That is so heat. I love that. The decals all over. I mean, oh man. Then the dock has a little paint paint splatter. Very nice console. Available August twenty sixth. Really? Okay, interesting. Later this month. Yep. All right. So there we go. All right, and as always, guys, we always check out the website before we close out. So let's just see if we can learn anything about, about the game. Ink up the, spl uh, the Splatlands. Um, enter the Splatlands, a sun-scorched desert inhabited by battle-hardened inklings and oct octolings. Splatsville, the city of chaos, is the adrenaline-fueled heart of this dusty wasteland. Explore trendy new styles, dynamic new moves, and expanded arsenal new stages, and so much more. Um... Bow now. Turf War is, of course, just the main uh, multiplayer mode. Story mode, Return of the Ma 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 I can't even speak! Mammalians. Um, work together in Salmon Run, which is like um, a co-op, like, wave-type game mode. Kind of like zombies. <laughs> Black of zombies, but, you know, with weird things. Uh, and Splatoon. Uh, of course, they're plugging themselves, following Twitter, uh, the new OLED we just talked about, and of course, pre-order. I already have mine pre-ordered. Uh, I actually just added it to my pre-order today. Um, you can get it digitally, physically, on Switch. Uh, it's $60 as most first-party Switch games. Man, um, look at that price tag, dude. $60, <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm going to bash Nintendo for that always. Not, I'm thinking 30 to 45 is a good price range. $60 for... It's just the new price of games set 60 to 70 is just what yeah, it pay. is. Yep, it is um, Yeah, I I mean I I understand where you're coming from $60 is, is a lot for a game I mean to me it looks great the game looks great But but, but for some pe pe people like you you may not be willing to pay, you know a $60 price tag $60 um, for, yep. Yeah, uh, physical edition. That's what the cover art's gonna look like super excited I love love the cover a lot and pur purple and yellow is my favorite color combination so I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, and then only on Nintendo Switch system. Yep, we know all that. And there it is. So final thoughts, Noli, on what you think of Splatoon. It's going to be a great game for, you know, young, young people, older people. It's a good family game, in my opinion. Definitely pass it around family. Let them play a few games. Uh, as an in, like not really a Nintendo fan or a user of Nintendo often, I think it's a really good game so far. I think 
we're going to see a lot of new stuff with this game. I'm interested to see how the story artwork goes. Yeah. It's going to be really cool. I agree. Um, well, yeah, there you have it, guys. Uh, I'll definitely be playing this game uh, on stream, doing a um, bunch of content for it. So I'm really excited. Looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you excited? Do you think it looks bad? Do you think it looks great? Let me know. Have you played the other Splatoons? Any, anything you want to say, let me know. I'd love to know. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next uh, Spotlight, which will be tomorrow night because I am a little late on this one. And uh, we will be looking at High on Life, a Xbox exclusive coming from the creators of Rick and Morty. Going to be very exciting. We'll have to check it out. Hayden Walls will be there. Hayden? Noli Walls will be there. We'll see you guys then. Peace. Bye.